Beyond the Mic with Sean Dillon. We're joined on the start line by a storyteller, traveler, and author of more than 30 books. He is the king of rock and roll documentary. His latest project goes pop. It happened right here. America's pop culture landmarks cover places you need to visit from locations where Stranger Things, Breaking Bad, and more have taken place. We welcome author Chris Epting. How you doing, Sean? Absolutely great. Let's go beyond the mic. Chris, you write about things you love. Why was It Happened Right Here the perfect next step for you? Well, I've always had this thing about geographic history, stepping into the space where something happened, but there's no sign there. And I, and then figuring out how to tell that story for people. I've done it for years and I wanted to do this book and really dig deeper than I've ever gone before in terms of rock and roll, television, film, crime and all that and make it possible for people if they want to travel to the places or if they just want to read from home, take comfort in knowing those places are there waiting for them. If they want to go stand where Marilyn Monroe's dress, bill it up and the seven year itch where Keith Moon drove a, a Cadillac into the swimming pool, whatever it happens to be, just knowing those places are there sometimes can give one comfort. Storytelling is important to you. Why has storytelling been lost recently? You know, it's a good it's a good point. I do think storytelling is really if anything's gonna save the, the fabric of our culture, it's gonna be storytelling. It was the very first thing human beings did, drawing on cave walls to communicate stories. And I think, you know, I think uh, social media has, has broken down. And you know, in some ways it's hurt storytelling. In a lot of ways it's helped it though. It's given everyone a voice. My attitude is let's just get back to deeper storytelling, not just, you know, 126 characters, whatever it happens to be. Let's take the time to tell the stories, you know, with the with the death of a lot of newspapers we no longer see like the three thousand word article anymore and my attitude is if it's a good piece it's a good piece i don't buy the argument people aren't going to read a long piece if it's good if the story is good they'll stay with it so my attitude is get back into it don't be afraid to share great long deep stories and see where it takes people it needs to be compelling you've been asked many times why is it important for you to go stand at exact locations where something happened i want to know not why but how did each location make you feel? Well, it's funny. It's a great question because when I stand in these places, uh, my attitude is I'll never think of that event, whatever took place there, I'll never think of that event the same way again. If you stand in the spot where hum Humphrey Bogart said, here's looking at you, kid, Ingrid Bergman, you'll never see Casablanca again. And I think to yourself, you know what? I was right there breathing that same air that they were back in 1941 or whatever. And so for me, it's about connecting to the event on a deeper level. Whatever took place there, once you stand in that spot, it's like going to a battlefield. You come away with the essence and the experience kind of in your soul in a way that it wasn't there before. Chris Epstein, author of It Happened Right Here, America's Pop Culture Landmarks, joins us beyond the mic for the Rocky Nade. And Chris, all this is is eight random questions. Answer with the first thing that comes to mind. There's no pressure. Okay. Since you ran into him when you were 11, what's your least favorite Alfred Hitchcock film? Hmm, um, Marnie. Who's the person you've talked to that has took the longest to open up to you? Bill Collins from Def Leppard. How about the best place on the Emerson College campus? Uh, uh, the Bull and Finch Bar, which was the original Cheers Bar and our campus bar in 1983. Now, you got to admit this straight. Who won more tennis matches between you and your son? My son. <laughs> How about the best thing and worst thing about Huntington Beach? Uh, the best thing is the surfing. Uh, the worst thing are bad surfing days. Where's the best place for spring training? Cactus or the Grapefruit League? Cactus. What's your must-have travel item or snack you always pack extra of for a road trip? A uh, trail mix with lots of M&Ms and peanuts and the book Blue Highways. Chris, when did your rescue dog, Whitney, touch your soul for the first time? Uh, the, day she, the day we got her, the day she looked in my eyes. Chris Epstein, author of It Happened Right Here, America's Pop Culture Landmarks, joins us beyond the mic for one big question. You have been a passionate advocate for education in your city. Which teacher's support helped you developing you to where you are today? Uh, today, there's a teacher named Jay Duval who just passed away, but in his legacy and in his spirit, he put me to work hardest as a teacher. He was my favorite of all in Huntington Beach. His son whips him on the tennis court, loves Cactus League baseball, and wants you to read It Happened Right Here, America's Pop Culture Landmarks. Chris Epstein. Thanks for taking the time to talk with us today. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And that, my friends, is I'll be on the mic shortcut. If you're enjoying these conversations, please check out another Beyond the Mic episode to find more actors, artists, and people you need to know. 
We'd also appreciate a like and subscribe on the Good Pods app.